Now, the UN inspectors say they're certain that chemical weapons were used in Syria. That's from a leaked first page of the report they're set to present in an hour from now. Meanwhile, Russia's foreign minister says the Syrian opposition should be forced to sit down for peace talks with the government. Marty Zygopiskanov is uh, here now live uh, with the details of this. So this full report coming up in an hour's time. What more can we expect? Well, frankly, it was widely expected that this UN report would confirm that what happened uh, on the outskirts of Damascus in late August was indeed a chemical attack. It's not, however, expected that it would establish which side actually used the chemical weapons. However, we are expecting uh, this report to give uh, more detail about what actually happened there, since the, the situation is still very fragile in the whole region. Uh, there is a very heavy international military presence. Uh, there's still a possibility of foreign military intervention. So, obviously, any news coming from uh, the United Nations is of great importance right now. And what steps uh, does the uh, Russian foreign minister want to see taken in order to move this peace uh, process forward? Well, according to uh, Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, uh, uh, the time for games has run out. This conflict has been going on for too long. So much effort has been made uh, for a diplomatic solution to be possible. And he says that uh, the Syrian opposition has to stop making preconditions. And if necessary, it has to be forced to sit down and negotiate peacefully. Sergei Lavrov also commented on the latest demands coming from France, uh, Britain and the U.S., which want to see the U.N. Security Council pass a fresh resolution on Syria before the end of the week. Moreover, Paris wants to see this resolution uh, uh, to go under Chapter 7, the same uh, one which was used uh, for the green light uh, for the military action in Libya, in Iraq, and uh, during the, uh, the Korean War. Uh, according to uh, the foreign minister, uh, these demands uh, distort reality and go against the agreements reached earlier between Moscow and Washington uh, and the roadmap which was uh, put forward to Damascus and accepted by Syrian authorities. It includes uh, for them to provide the complete information on their stocks of chemical weapons and their disarmament uh, by uh, the, uh, the second half, by the middle of uh, next year. And uh, the foreign minister says right now there is no need for the UN Security Council to get involved since Syria has also signed up to the International Conven Convention on Chemical Weapons, which basically bans their use. And it's now uh, up to the Organization for the Prevention of uh, Chemical Weapons to monitor the disarmament process. Process. And if, Sergei Lavrov says, if any problems emerge, then it would be up to the UN Security Council to get involved. Okay, for now, Artis Piskanov, thank you.